like Everdred has been as historically been a strong third strike player. I mean, strong with Remy. He's learned a lot. He's played against the best, and he's teaching us in Miami how to be better players. And he's he's helped develop a lot of better third strike players. If you look at the bracket, who almost made third strike? There's a lot of people who've been practicing with Everdred who are getting in those games out there. But the Nam Seven, look at the prodigy going leverless on the cab, full of confidence here. Got his got his father Leo looking on in the background there. And you he know, also plays too. He's great, you know. You know, there's a there's a really good YouTube series, and I forgot who who. He's got to check his buttons first, by the way. Yeah. That explains the delay. I don't know who's the creator of, uh, of this video series, but it's like a video series of fighting in games. It's like how bad are they really? And there's one on Remy, and it explains why he you know he's definitely not the strongest character. You know, definitely not. Some yeah. of the things I was quoting, you know, he, like only one real cancelable normal doesn't have. It's just like his tools and his stuff. It just doesn't compare to the other characters. But it's a really good series. I forgot who put it up. Man, I wonder what song choices these two players have. Because Everdred's got that. He's got that Phil Collins in the air tonight energy. You feeling that? Oh, Maybe. I'm not sure. <laughs> My references are all so bad today. Do you want to know where I met the Dom 7? Do you want to know how I met him? How? He eliminated me in the top eight of Ultra Street Fighter 2. Not four, Ultra Street Fighter 2. <laughs> the GOAT. Great game. I love it. I Is that death. the one that's on Switch? Yes. Exclusive to Switch. Uh, he, had a Shinaku he had a Shinakuma. I didn't even know Shinakuma was in the game. And he got into the top four, losing to uh, losing to Jerry Holtz, uh, Dalzen, <laughs> which, which was awesome. But his, his Shinakuma was putting on a clinic in the Ultra Street Fighter 2 at Evo. And that was like... And it was like, am I losing to Akuma? Or is this kid really like... That showdown. <laughs> and that dash up overhead goes to show it. He is fearless here. Oh, boy. Great confirms here. Oh, it's like clockwork. And look at that high stun there. But, I mean, just looks like a good hit to the kill. I don't know if he has experience playing against Remy, to be honest with you. Not many people do. Now, there were some Remy's um, in Seattle that in the tournament that were there. That, and made it pretty far in the bracket, honestly. But I just don't know if the Nam had the opportunity to play against them. Or, but he takes the first round, though, so. And I'm sure on Fike, you know, he he has some of the experience there. Yep, there you go. That's a juggle. Told you. <laughs> you know, when you play these lower tier characters, you know, you have to convert off of everything to the to its maximum. Yep, you got to use those buttons the right way and really get the strength out of them. I like how he has that stand medium kick where he just kind of extends the knee out there. There we go. He gets that screen freeze. Brilliant. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Great response from Everdread. Wake up throw enough to take it. Let us know what Street Fighter you prefer in the chat. You like the Gen X? You like the Gen Z? <laughs> I think I think they're all for the generation whoever's winning, because um and, 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 and Doug in Everdread here, he's playing on the cap. Like he is just straight up that that's how he is. He is yeah. all he's the versus city life. Oh, but this is the flash kick the nom! Dashes up and goes with the business with the confirm off the state low forward. Oh, Universal Head Doom work. Yeah, and Super One is on deck. That's going to be the Sonic Boom Fiesta. And he's going to take the first fight there. I mean, it's not really Sonic Boom Fiesta with Remy. It's more like Sonic Boom. I was trying yeah, to think of a. I was trying to think of like a French culinary term, like. <laughs> Like Sonic Boom Vicious Soir or something. I don't know. I like it. I like it. Light of Justice. Yeah, we can just call it the Light of Justice. <laughs> I'm just going to do that. But how do we translate that in French? That would be like, oh, man. My French is off today. I'm sorry to all my French fans. Okay, here we go. And to be honest, I only spoke Canadian French, so it's, oh, it's different. But yeah, it's different. Oh, but here we go. Repping the purple pants. He Every does a lot of the low sonic booms, so it kind of serves like the way that low tiger shot just kind of cuts off your legs and limits your movement. Oh man, just this back and forth here, just chipping each other out. I love this level. I love when they push him into this side of the corner there. It's just that background just adds so much pressure to the situation. Yeah, my, <laughs> I feel more stressed out being sent to that corner than being sent to the other corner. Seizures, please. <laughs> okay, oh, there we go. It's you. Got the confirm off three lights. You love to see it. The Nam taking a point of there. Yeah, very classic combo here, but let's see. You know, Everger looking kind of comfortable here, despite losing that round. 
And it's tricky when you're dealing with like a good, strong projectile game in third strike, because projectiles are usually considered weak. Wow, you see how he's parried the EX there? Yeah, he's ready. Yeah, so he does he does have practice because it takes in this matchup because it does take a little bit of practice to understand like how to parry both those booms because it looks like one's hitting you high, one's hitting you low. So, but it's really kind of the the block stun that you get into a parry that just allows for like those multiple directions. Oh. Wake up, Light of Justice only got one. Follows up with an EX though to get that damage guaranteed. Man, is that that sounds like a Captain America thing. Light of Justice. Okay. I want to see him say I can do this all day in French. <laughs> oh, good response there with the medium dragon punch and the step back low forward. The Nam able to tie it up 1-1. And a modest applaud from the crowd there who appreciates the kid's skill on display. Gen Z standing up to Gen X. We got this. You know, there's more than 151 Pokemon, and I'm going to make sure you learn them. <laughs> and here we go into final game here. <laughs> but Everdread staying cool, calm, and collected. I know, like, these lower tier characters, like, you know, they're definitely a huge fan favorite. So I know people are really wanting to see more of this Remy in action. I mean, they better. Because I'm tired of commentating third strike tournaments where we don't have a Remy. And the people <laughs> in the chat are like, when's Remy? Here's Remy, okay? <laughs> when's Remy? When's Alex? <laughs> when's Alex? Oh, boy. Uh, when's Q? Hey, I got some tea to share about Q, by the way. I'm going to tell you something that really triggered me a few weeks, months ago. Okay, and here we go. Speaking of triggered, he's triggering in the corner. Yeah, connects. he's been on point connecting with the flash kick after that throw since the first round. Yeah. Oh, no confirm? Low shorts, yeah. One that confirm. Instead goes with that low forward, so I guess he just didn't mash it enough. Sonic Boom again, whiff punishing that reach for the low forward. Oh, boy, he's got to eat the onion rings here. <laughs> I mean, they, they kind of look like... <laughs> they, EX, do, they do look like onion rings. The EX version especially, you know, he, he throws but a it's twofer. The, but it's the kind of... It jocks, it's the kind of onion rings that I don't like, like the real thin ones. <laughs> Oh, like, gosh. Where they don't have enough breading around it. I, I just, I'm not a fan. Oh, you know? they're chewy. Oh, yuck. Yuck, yeah. I, you and I both agree. Oh, boy. Oh, great uh, uppercut there. Yeah, the Nam on match point here. I mean, and Everdread down to 50%. So we're going to see how Doug's going to respond. Ooh. Oh, we got anti air. Double anti aired. And then the axe kick takes it. And the Nam overcoming Everdread there with a great comeback victory. Wow, the kid's got it going on. And he's advancing to the top four with this. Yeah. And I saw this kid getting top four in Ultra Street Fighter 4. I would not.